Good morning everyone. Dr. Bill here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cover four more things not to do on your rim to rim hike. I like to keep this uh, video very short so let's jump right into it. Number one, do not wear dark clothing on the hike. As I've said before, the sun is absolutely relentless from May through mid-September on the hike. Black clothing can be 25 degrees warmer than white clothing. Basically, the black clothing is uh, absorbing the infrared uh, wavelength from the sun. So what you want to do is you want to keep your temperature down as low as possible. What I did on my rim-to-rim -rim hikes was I had a white fishing shirt, long sleeve fishing shirt. I actually had SPF 45 built into the shirt. Number two, it's a good idea not to do this hike in new hiking boots. I know hiking the rim to rim is a momentous occasion. You may want to commemorate it with new hiking boots, but make absolutely sure that you have broken your hiking boots in. When I did both my trips um, through, the, through the rim to rim, uh, I used keen hiking shoes uh, and, they, and they held up well. But in my particular instance with those Keens, I actually had to hike 35 miles in those Keens before I felt like they were fully broken in. So what you want to do if you get new hiking shoes is make absolutely sure that you've broken, in, broken them in for long distances. Number three, and I really want to urge this on you. I know when you're doing the rim to rim hike that you are really excited and uh, want to make time and, and want to be on the move. But as strongly as I can urge you, don't ignore friction spots on your, on your feet when you're hiking. Um, get on them. I know it's hard to stop. But get on them, get your shoes off, get your socks off, and get whatever medication and tape you brought with you to protect yourself against blisters. Let me tell you three quick stories of uh, what happened to me when I did the south to north rim. Uh, I was just above Manzanita Campground. I met these two young women in their mid-twenties, and they were both wearing clip-clops trying to get up out of the north rim. I asked them why they were wearing clip-clops, and they said that their blisters were so bad that they could not put... Um, their hiking boots on their feet. Another fellow I met at Manzanita came limping into the campground and someone asked him if he had twisted his ankle and he said no he was limping because he had a really bad blister on his right foot. And the third was a woman that I ran into uh, and was actually hiking with her for about a mile and a half up the north rim. Her father was about an hour behind her and um, finally we were about three miles from the top and she just sat down and she said I'm gonna wait here uh, until my father gets here. I just need to give my, my foot a rest. She said, my blisters are so bad on my foot that I just need to take a break. And I had some KT tape with me and I offered to give her some and she absolutely refused. And she said, if she took her hiking shoe off her foot, she did not believe that she could uh, get her shoe back on. And so again, number three, pay attention to those hot spots, those friction points on your feet and get on them quickly. I do want to say with my broken in Keens, I did both routes, south to north and north to south, and never got a blister. But if that should happen, get the tape on them quickly or get whatever medication you brought with you to protect your feet from blisters. And number four, try and manage your time so that you don't go through the narrows in the heat of the day. You can get 120 degrees there during the summer or higher than 120 degrees there during the summer. Some people call the narrows the oven. So what you want to do is manage your time effectively. I got through the narrows in both directions when I did the hike. I got through before 8.30 in the morning and you really want to avoid that, uh, that ferocious heat in that particular area. The narrows, by the way, are located, if you're looking for it on your map, they're located above Phantom Ranch and below Cottonwood Campground. So. Those are my next four tips on things not to do on the rim trim hike. I hope you find them helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video.